Hi guys, uh, this is my second video on uh, horizontal slider and uh, I have uh, done some improvement uh, like uh, in background we are moving an image and uh, I also added two button one is uh, previous and this another one is second next button so on the click of next button we will be moving to the next uh, slide and on previous button we will be moving back to the previous slide so let's see that how uh, app will going to look like so i will going to run this and uh, so this is our app and uh, if we slide here you can see that the background image is also is sliding with the uh, with the slider and uh, now we will see that how our previous and next button is working if you click here you can see then the slider is also moving with on the click of next button and if we click on the previous button it moves back okay now we will see that how our code will going to look like and what changes we needed to uh, add next or previous functionality so what i have did there are two approaches either you create a previous or next button on every sliding of page programmatically or uh, just add these two button previous and the next button uh, over to the scroll view as i did yeah so and uh, then create two ib outlet one is for next button and the other one is for previous button and then you have to create uh, two actions uh, one for the next button and the other for the previous button I'm assuming that you are already gone through my first uh, horizontal slider video so this one is the uh, is the next step that we are following so you can see my previous video that uh, how all these stars I have created and so this one is the next button if uh, if so here you can see that it first checks the uh, content offset x with the uh, scroll view content size width okay and uh, we can check here by printing that what uh, content offset we are getting on each click of next button the similar way we will check that what is our content size okay then you will have an idea that why I'm I subtracting the width of my frame now click here rerun this code Yeah, in this terminal you will going to see our debug log and click here you can see here the uh, the content size total content size is 1656 and as we move next then the content si uh, then uh, you can see here that this one is our uh, content offset dot x value okay okay as we reached uh, to the last page or the, to the last uh, page of the slider then you can see that the content offset of uh, x is 1242 okay and the content size of scroll view is 1656 so we have to subtract uh, with the width of our frame to get this value okay once we reach to this value we will n we will not allow 
to add uh, the width to the content content offset the similar we will going to uh, do for the previous page but here we will check that it should be greater than zero and we will going to subtract with the yeah with the bounds of the R frame or R view so I hope uh, you have an idea that how next and previous uh, button is working now we will see that how a background image functionality is working here you can see that when we uh, slide up page the background image is also sliding with each slider so so for that what we have to do we need to create one instance of a UI image that one is the background image okay we will give a name to that we have to add this to our asset and uh, then we will uh, add UI image as in as a sub view of scroll view after adding UI image view as a sub view to the scroll view when you will uh, slide your slider or move to the next page then you will find that the background image is also sliding so in this way you can customize your your slider i hope you like this video and thanks for watching happy coding